Not so long ago, we took a look at the Real Madrid bench for Zinedine Zidane's first game in charge of Los Blancos. That video did very well, and a lot of you asked for a similar one on Zizou's managerial counterpart in Saturday's Champions League final. Jurgen Klopp replaced Brendan Rodgers as Liverpool manager in October 2015, and his first game in charge of the Reds was a 0-0 draw away at Tottenham. Under his stewardship, the club had finished 8th once and 4th twice, reaching one Europa League and one Champions League final, the results of the latter still to be decided. Here are the 7 Liverpool subs from Klopp's first game. Where are they now? Adam Bogdan, Liverpool Hungarian international Adam Bogdan was one of Brendan Rodgers' more unusual signings, it would be fair to say. The 6-foot 4-inch shot stopper arrived on a free transfer after his contract expired at Bolton Wanderers, and he had played only 10 games in the Championship the previous season. Naturally, Bogdan has only ever been a second choice or third choice at Anfield, making just 6 appearances in 3 seasons, only 2 of which have come in the Premier League. His contract is set to expire this summer. Colo Torre, Celtic coach. Everyone's favourite Torre brother, older sibling Colo had three seasons at Liverpool as a backup centre-back, during which time he made 71 appearances and started a Europa League final. Torre followed Brendan Rodgers to Celtic in 2016, where he played a cameo role as the Hoops won the double, joining a rare group of players to have had invincible seasons with two different clubs. Torre hung up his boots in 2017 and now works as a first team coach at Parkhead as well as being the assistant manager of the Ivory Coast national team's under-23 side. Connor Randall, Liverpool Some 15 years and almost 500 first team matches separated Liverpool's two defensive options on the bench against Tottenham in Jurgen Klopp's first game in charge. Connor Randall had been named on the Reds bench for the first time by Brendan Rodgers a month earlier but he made his first team debut against Bournemouth in the League Cup under Klopp. The Liverpool-born right-back, who can also play in holding or central midfield, failed to push on at Anfield though. Now aged 22, he just spent a season on loan at Hearts and has stated that he'd be open to making a permanent move north of the border. Given his limited chances of breaking into the first team on Merseyside, it seems quite likely such a move will happen. Joe Allen, Stoke City in every video we seem to do looking at a significant substitutes bench, whether it be Real Madrid or Barcelona, they always seem to feature a current Stoke City player. Jurgen Klopp's first bench at Liverpool is no exception, with Joe Allen the player in question on this occasion. The diminutive Welsh international was introduced as an 81st minute substitute for Adam Lallana in Klopp's first game, but the German boss sold him to Stoke for £13 million at the end of the season. Allen has since impressed at the Bet365 Stadium, and he recently featured in our look at the seven best players from the three relegated clubs. Joao Teixeira, Braga Long considered one of the brightest prospects at Anfield, Joao Teixeira was capped by Portugal at six different youth levels, labelled the next deco, and was named as the Liverpool Academy Player of the Year in 2015. An attacking or central midfielder who can also operate out wide on the left, Teixeira has excellent close control and a real eye for a pass. Despite his obvious promise, he made only 8 first team appearances for the Reds before joining Porto due to a lack of first team opportunities. Now aged 25, Teixeira made 20 appearances on loan at Braga this season. Jordan Ibe, Bournemouth Jordan Ibe was another player Liverpool had high hopes for from a young age. Ibe made his Liverpool debut in Jamie Carragher's final game for the club, and when Raheem Sterling left for Man City, I was expected to fill that void. He made 41 appearances for the club the following season, but it proved to be his last at Anfield. A bid of £15 million from Bournemouth was deemed satisfactory for a youngster who hadn't quite set the world alight, although the Reds did make a point of including both a sell-on fee and buyback clauses in the deal. Since joining Bournemouth, Ibis had patchy form, but he managed two goals and six assists in 32 Premier League outings in the season just gone. Jerome Sinclair, Watford There was more than a touch of youth to Jurgen Klopp's first bench as Liverpool manager, and his sole striking option waiting in the wings was Jerome Sinclair. Unlike Ibe, Sinclair never really got any serious game time at Anfield, making just five appearances in total and scoring his only goal against Exeter in the FA Cup. Sinclair joined Watford in 2016 after his contract had expired, with the tribunal setting his fee at £4 million. Watford had yet to see much of a return on that investment, 
since Sinclair has scored just once in 11 games over his first two seasons, and he didn't start a single game this term. So that's it for the top seven. Thanks for watching, give us a like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe to HITC7s.